peace, peace, happy now, now's a vibrate of course, not going too far in the future, not going too far in the past, right now, now's the vibrate of course, uh, it's gonna be kind of like an open vibe video, you know, I gotta get back to doing that open vibe video, cause it allowed for me to take my time and you know and deal with the information without trying to rush through it in essence and it allowed for me to, to jump through different things that you know that's really in a in a connected you know and things I, I experienced purposely because the universe sent me through you know a certain vibe you know but matter of fact the vesica pisces you know like uh let me make sure Wind cutting up out here, y'all. But am I showing it? I'm trying to see the screen, but I think it's showing. But the Vesica Pisces, you know, with the the yoni in the middle. But that energy coming up a lot. And the matter of fact, I'm gonna kind of speak briefly, you know, because. You know the uh, new moon has already passed, so that's why I'm not really going into it on that on that type of level. But just kind of briefing on the vibes that we're dealing with, you know, right now, up until the uh, you know the full moon that's that's coming later. I mean, it, they normally be around, you know, so full moon, so it'd be probably. And I, I have to look, but maybe it's somewhere in between the uh, what the, the 17th to the 21st or something like that. But I don't quote me. But anyway. Uh, Cause matter of fact, we're also dealing with Mercury retrograde that uh, started sometime, uh, I think, around the same time as the new moon. So we're also dealing with that energy. So uh, communication and commerce with that dreamy Pisces energy. You know, be aware of new experiences with new people. You know, uh, it's very important to use our hearts discernment. You know, with newcomers. You know, because it, uh, you know, dealing with newcomers, it may be a facade. You know, so. Uh, be careful at you know how we dealing with uh certain energies you know uh as far as on the communication and commerce level and just newcomers in general you know like uh use your heart's discernment don't be so head first and just like you know because you could get lost in that dreamy you know pisces energy that caring you know niceness you know openness vibe and you know you could get lost in the sauce so make sure you know uh, don't rush into any decisions, you know, uh, dealing with, you know, uh, new people or uh, certain situations in general, you know, especially on a communication or business level, you know, uh, you know, allow for you to, uh, you know, really have that harsh discernment and really know it or feel, you know, and really see what's going on, you know, let things kind of, uh, you know, play out to some extent. Uh, right now, also, the dreams are becoming more prophetic. You know, dreams shed light on, on the future. Matter of fact, I done had a, uh, you know, a few little dreams that uh, have come through for myself. Where I, and even with the vibe, like, so strongly, so to uh, even with smoking, you know, I've been having, like, little vibes where it come back like deja vu, though. Uh, like, I don't really remember it right off from when I'm waking up, but then I have, like, a deja vu moment of it strongly. And I say deja vu, but like what I, it reappears in my mind's eye, and, and and now I done got to the point where like my well I just say like well when it happens my high self got hey that that is a part of your dream that you had last night you know like this is telling you so as matter of fact like I had a dream that uh my my, my like uh to catch my bus uh coming this way to L A that something was gonna happen like why well, I was gonna be delayed in some way for my fashion or, and it was de dealing with like my mom's energy like with her you know still want me to stay home and stuff like that and and that energy trying to like sabotage me from leaving in essence you know but like and well and then come to that day you know uh, you know something where I expected I was gonna be able to get a ride and things didn't turn out like oh shit you know my dream told me this shit was gonna fucking happen you know what I'm saying so you know, just let, you know, just showing like, you know, uh, how prophetic, you know, I even had a dream, <laughs> you know, and this, and this real too, you know, uh, like, 
I look, you know, uh, we growing up here, but at the same time, uh, I got a joke with it though. But uh, like, I had a dream that uh, like I had an enema, like somebody took an enema, like the little things that you put in your ass to uh, <laughs> to like uh, like cleanse your ass out, or like to give you like a. Uh, you know, like your bowels are cleanse or whatever, like a colon cleanse. You know, I think the enema is like the uh, the pill. I'm not sure, but anyway, you know, basically, where I had uh, a vibe of like, you know, being somewhere in a bed and dealing with a female, and like she like low key stuck an enema, like a almost like a. I think that's what it is, but basically, like, uh, again, it, like, squirts something, some detox and shit in you to, to you know, uh, detox, like, your, your intestines and, you know, that area. That's why I'm, like, laughing. <laughs> but it is what it is, because I'm, uh, I'm on that vibe where I like to share, and, like, on that comedian vibe, bro, it's funny sharing shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I bust out laughing at it myself. <laughs> I like, you know, just the whole aspect, you know, of having that, uh, you know, that visualization. But, you know, basically, again, laying, laying down and then, then you know, the, the, the queen actually, you know, suck some shit. And, you know, and of course, uh, you know, I'm like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, like, nothing but shit. And, and it get nasty, too. Oh, so disclaimer. Oh, uh, and then shit started leaking out of me. You know what I'm saying? And, and but, but. While I'm doing this too, though, you get the learning experience. Like I'm giving you an aspect of like sharing this, and you'll see the meaning behind it. You know, uh, you know, and then as the the because sh shit represents toxins. You know what I'm saying? Like in general, toxic energy, lower vibration. Like when I always bullshit about like you know taking a bowel movement is like dropping them lower vibrations. You know, but <laughs> but anyway, you know, uh, as the, the 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 shit coming out of me, you know. And then all of a sudden, I think that's kind of where it, where it ended, like where it came out. I mean, I was like, what the fuck? And then, you know, like, bam, like waking up. But like, you know, seeing that, you know, not too long after that, you know, uh, dealing with a certain energy, you know, uh, you know, with a certain feminine energy that basically, you know, uh, helps help cleanse me, you know what I'm saying? Like on a level, like on so many levels and, uh, you know again like just a personification of the nasty the nasty up front but that's just where i was at like the dream like hey i'm gonna show it to you like this you know what i'm saying because again we get shown our dreams you know in the essence of just like whatever way you know we could re receive it in essence you know so i guess that was the way for me to receive it in essence but uh like uh again speaking to me detoxing but like that cleansing energy coming through, you know, because again, I was laying in the bed with, uh, you know, with a, with a female, with a queen. And it's just that energy, you know, and then later on, you know, uh, connecting with a queen and just seeing that little energy of like, and, and how much it was like therapeutic for me. And I'm like, all right, you know, that was what that dream was about. You know what I'm saying? So back to the, to the aspect, you know, again, we're going to be having dreams, you know, being more prophetic, dreams uh, shedding light on the future. Matter of fact, if you uh, just to add a, another little aspect, you know, like if you're dreaming about, uh, you know, you, you, you're dreaming about uh, like a house and the kitchen all fucked up and dirty, you know, that's also speaking to, you know, like literally like, you know, your body, you know, and uh, your intestine area, the digestive system being, you know, uh, dirty in some way, form or fashion and needing to detox, you know, if you uh, envisioning, you know, uh, a, a, a garden, you know, like that may be meaning like you uh, need to tame your, your nature a little more, like where you just a little too, you know, uh, ungrounded and out there with your nature so it's like you know kind of being a little more uh how i gotta say a little more structured manner to it you know what i'm saying but uh you know it's just all these different aspects of so the dreams being more prophetic and being more aware of uh like inner intuition and uh inner guidance you know so like 
you know, dealing with the way we're moving right now, just, you know, moving with, with, with the intuition and inner guidance, you know, not trying to forcefully move through things, but, you know, dealing with that inner guidance, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to, to, to move around, to be guided and be inspired by, by that intuition, you know, and act upon alignment with inner self and, and higher self and intuition, you know, before, uh, you know, actually taking an action, you know. Because again, the, uh, the Pisces energy, you know, deals with a lot of psychic intuitive energy, you know, uh, and also the Pisces energy, again, psychic intuitive energy, you know, is the feminine energy as well, you know, uh, you know the feminine waters, you know, because the moon energy connects with that as well and that's the feminine waters you know and right now we're in the Aquarius age and matter of fact I did a video on the Aquarius which is gonna drop either before or after this video but uh you know with the connection with the Aquarian waters and emotions and the feminine energy you know and us receiving a uh you know a bulk of information right now in the Aquarius age you know moving out of the age of Pisces you know but the Pisces the vesicle Pisces are you know the yoni you know what I'm saying and matter of fact, I came across uh, some different uh, vibes. Uh, matter of fact, shout out to, uh, I think it's Lifting the Veil YouTube channel. At, at Bridging, uh, like, help for me to connect some more dots dealing with that energy as well. You know, which again, we're going to kind of get into, because uh, again, just that reoccurring vibe of just, you know, the, the divine feminine energy and looking into. You know, like the, the the energies with sevens, and like, cause I spoke about in that in the Aquarius video that I uh, that I did. You know how, you know, uh, in order to uh, to be aware of ourselves, in one point, you know, we gotta reach out in uh, six different directions, and that kind of, in essence, boxes into a cube. But I got it in in the, in the video I'm gonna be dropping, so just go back and reference that to uh, to draw that connection. You know, it's gonna be the Aquarius video that that's dropping right along with this one, but uh, you know, just just the energy of the Pisces. Cause matter of fact, I had so many synchronicities. I think about like uh, you know, my bus ride here. You know, uh, which the 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 six nine symbol more so uh, you know, resembles the uh. You know the cancer energy but i think about like with the six nine like the little pisces fish swimming like around each other you know like in the six nine position in essence but like the bus i was riding on six nine six nine and i go one of the stops we was on i come across uh a queen named uh nicotine <laughs> but that had you know basically this tattoo again I, it looked better than, than what i'm showing you right here Know, but had this tattoo you know and was just you know showing me again just uh the relevance of us connecting with this uh piscean energy right now and 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 in essence just going deeper in depth and just breaking down you know sacred geometry and just all these connections with uh with uh how i say helping us to realize what's going on right now you know with this uh paradigm shift because you know, we again we just cycling through a tourist field basically you know and I I think I gotta do like this <laughs> going through a tourist field you know and matter of fact and also you think about going through the tourist field you think about matter of fact and it's also somewhere too like you know like uh just the aspect of the of the pose with uh you know, with magnetism because again mag magnetism is and, and magnetism ma you know ma ma the 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 mother, the primordial mother. Matter of fact, go check out any of my videos uh, uh, that has the primordial mother in the title. Uh, 
one that I kind of remember where I go into the aspect of Tiamat and all that connection, because that's connect connected right now. Matter of fact, especially right now as well, because we're moving in to, because uh, again, this is about the, the divine feminine energy. You know, it's a, it's a balance, it's about the sexual union of the divine feminine and masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and, and going through these different portals and, and, and also realizing the aspect of like, and, how all of this in essence comes from the feminine energy you know as a whole like of course it, you know sourced energy as a whole is like a androgynous energy but it's the feminine aspect that kind of in essence you know uh that beginning quote unquote create you know a uh, creational aspect you know from that darkness let there be light you know like it uh it predates and matter of fact I got a video on that as well but just again how I spoke on uh you know like the Tiamat energy again like something coming from the abyss and again speaking of the, of the fish you know the vesica Pisces and us moving through a tourist field you know cuz uh again you know, two circles like this Make sure. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the two circles, you know, is like a tourist field, and the vesica Pisces is in the middle. You know, like a little portal. You know. And uh, we revolving in and out of that portal. You know, and, and, and I think about the aspect of God. You know, as the generator, operator, and destroyer. And I, I spoke on this in the aspect of speaking on, you know, the generator as far as from the Hindu aspect of it, as far as a uh, Brahmin and Sarasvati, you know, which is Abraham in the uh, Christ, Christian text, you know, Abraham and, and Sarah, you know, but Brahmin, because if you switch Brahmin around, basically like Abraham and, and Sarasvati, that's basically like Sarah, you know, and uh, Abraham, uh, Abra. You know, Ham, the uh, Ra, and Abraham, Abra, you know, Abraman, Ra, you know, and then the Ram. The Ram is the, the first uh, constellation, the zodiac sign. And when you look at, you know, your Old Testament uh, Bible, you know, that that God is kind of like in that Aries energy, you know, fiery, like head first, like, you know, it's all about me, you know, because uh, one of those negative aspects to, uh, uh, you know, to that number one energy or Aries energy you know it's like it's it, it's kind of like a jealousy vibe like it should be about me you know like uh and that's where I'm uh I'm a jealous God you and I, I'm the only God but I'm a jealous God and it's like well shit how could you be jealous if, you, if you're the only God but you're jealous if you're jealous that mean they got other gods too you know what I'm saying like but again you know that that generator aspect going within the tour was you know, going within the tourist field, you know, for the first time. Well, and I say the first time, because again, we continuously looping through going with in and out of tourist fields, you know what I'm saying? When you look at the life and death situation of like, uh, you know, from being in a non-physical aspect, you know, within a tourist field, you know, again, within your own tourist field of your being, you know, and, uh, and going with, within your, you know, to coming into the physical aspect, you know, uh, uh, within your uh, your mom being in her Taurus field and then developing your own on the physical level and then coming out and then, uh, you know, going, come, come in, basically going, what I'm talking about is going through portals. You, you, you uh, within your Taurus field and then you come out of your mama field, uh, uh, her vaginal portal, you know what I'm saying? And then, you go through life and then you go back into the vag your, your body suit go back into the vaginal portal of this earth because it comes from a vaginal portal from this earth aka your mom's body is a portal that's made out of earth and therefore our little body suit goes back into the portal or the womb of earth you know and it's put into the womb of earth or a barrier site you know what i'm saying uh like a wound and that's why uh too like with the uh the indigenous mounds and in, uh you know, matter of fact, in uh, quote unquote America, you know, the, the indigenous mounds, you know,
know, representing that 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 energy of you know going back into the feminine energy of Earth, you know, and uh, and going back through that portal, and then the soul, you know, that leaves the body goes through another portal. You know, what I'm saying whether you know your soul knows that hey, I want a different experience to leave out of this this experience that I'm in, you know, right now, and, and leave out of that portal and go into another one, or whether it loops back into the same portal of the uh, you know the the previous uh realm of reality it was dealing with you know but it's just you know cycling through portals you know and we think about world like the the the, the word world as a matter of fact word because words could create work like words create a reality and a reality in essence is like creating a world and a world w-o-r-l-d is also like a world w-h-i-r-l like you know like a whirlpool you know what I'm saying, and creating a, a spin in the tourist field, or you know, a tornado. You know, and uh, you know, again, speaking on like uh videos where I might have talked about phase conjugation and uh, DNA fractality. Uh, you know, but like the toroidal field, like any of the videos I speak on toroidal fields, I talk about like the pine cones kissing noses, and also again the aspect where it is basically the uh the, the flower of life, like. You know, a magnetic field, you know, spinning in its perfection is the flower of life. You know what I'm saying? It emanates that energy, that crystal lattice. Matter of fact, what I just spoke about in the uh, Shungai video, you know, but, uh, you know, that crystal lattice gives off a certain energy. And, and basically, you know, is whenever the magnetic waves, you know, the curvy magnetic uh, feminine waves, you know, uh, within our being, because we are electromagnetic, you know, electricity and magnetism, you know, masculine and feminine, again, but the, the magnetic waves, you know, moving in this, in this, uh, in this type of, uh, geometric structure, you know, creates that certain type of, uh, energy. Yep, yep. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? And, uh, so, again, you see the connection with the the word word you know because a word like we talk about words are like spells they create you know certain realms of reality you know like uh like uh you know that's why we deal with affirmations you know the affirmations is you know speaking things into existence are creating a certain sphere of reality you know what i'm saying a little tourist feel you know a little tornado and and and, and that that sphere of reality could only you know exist by you know becoming or, or should i say uh hold its own by becoming stronger and stronger like you know that's why certain people you know end up transition because you know they allow for themselves to be duped by the pro promoting the prescription pills or eating unhealthy so you know they 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 towards feel weakened and weakened to the point of where they just you know again like flatline because also you know, uh, you get the flower of life from the golden mean ratio, and, and, and with waves moving in the in the in the vibration of the golden mean ratio, it allows for constructive wave interference, which means wave waves coming across each other. You know, where they where they uh, interfering with each other, but in a constructive manner, meaning they building each other's up, building each other up, compared to uh, destructive wave interference, where the waves coming across each other and then flatlining. You know. And that's what happens, you know, as we dealing with, you know, lower vibrations and harmful energies, you know, and it disrupts the, the perfection of our crystal lattice within our, you know, the, the spin within our Merkaba and Taurus field, you know, all these different crystal lattices and energetic magnetic fields, you know, you can look at the Merkaba field as more so like the, the masculine, you know, energy as far as like it being straight lines in essence, but because uh, within that Merkaba, there is a feminine aspect with your downward tetrahedron, but you know, still, you know, it's more of that masculine aspect where the Taurus feel is like the feminine, you know, magnetic aspect, you know, and, and both of those, you know, those, uh, you know, again, crystal lattice, lattices in so many, you know, for so many words, you know, uh, crystal lattice. Th those uh, crystal lattices create, you know, again, your realm of reality. And right now when we talk about revelations, you know, we cycling into a new age, into the Kali Yuga, you know. And matter of fact, how different ages is basically like cycling through a tourist field, you know. Like, uh, 
know, like going in and out of a tourist field. And, and again, with the uh, the generator, the operator, and the, the, the destroyer. You know, matter of fact, this is somewhat of an example of a tourist field as well. Y'all excuse me, I'm, uh, but the generator, the operator, and the destroyer, which you know, going through. You know, again, like a tourist field, you know, going in and out. And like going through different ages, like, you know, like where we, we at one point, where we close to the Godhead energy, and then we go to, uh, you know, or, or more so like when we in a tourist field, you know, like that's that peaceful place. As above, so below, like being in a hurricane, the eye of the storm is like so peaceful, you know. And we within, you know, we within ourselves, you know, we are in alignment within our tourist field and not all in the external realm or far out from our tourist field. And then, you know, we, you know, say for instance, like, a, and also as above, so below, like a planet, you know, within a tourist field, you know, cycling through, through this tourist field and then bam, then that planet or that solar system kind of bounces outside of that, you know, and then it goes through, you know, being, since it's not close within this realm, you know, it's not in alignment fully, you know, it's not close to the alignment of being within that womb, within that mother energy. So it kind of distanced itself off, you know, and matter of fact, it may uh, overdevelop, uh, you know, some masculine energies, you know, uh, over masculine because it's forgetting how to be in that magnetic womb, you know what I'm saying? And then come back and then remember, you know, and then bounce out, you know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, so many, uh, so many years, just like as above, so below, just like it takes so many you know years to us to uh go through this experience you know 24,000 years or what have you you know like that's what it may feel like to say for instance a cell or or, or not even say a cell but more so like a, 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 a let's say a cell but a, like a energy a, a energy pigment from my root chakra you know that say for instance when i breathe do, do the pranic breathing that little cell rises through all the chakras, you know, into the to the crown, and then you know rises back down to the to the root. Now, it, it, it took a, a you know what seems like for me a second, you know what I'm saying, to do that. But within the realm of reality, for that little pigment within my root chakra that made that movement, that it just felt like. You know, a hundred thousand years to it, you know what I'm saying, within the measurement of what we call years, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of give it some relativity for us to, you know, for you to grasp the concept, but not to say that it's really like that many years, you know, again, but that that's that's what's going on, you know, with us uh, moving through this, uh, you know, this tourist field of these energies like this, you know, again, in and out of that, that womb, you know. Again, the revelation revolving in and out, you know, and that's what we're dealing with, you know, uh, and, and revolve, revolution, you know, talking about revolution, re-entering re a cycle in a circle, you know, revolution, you know, because a tire revolves, our will, our chakra, you know, revolves, you know, and again, back to that vesica Pisces, you know, and Osiris phallus. You know, was eaten by a fish when when it chopped when the story of Osiris when his body got chopped up into all those pieces, you know, and his phallus was thrown, you know, out, and, and a fish ate it, you know. But that's the that's a representation of the young, you know. Again, all representations of sexual union, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a separate video on the uh, on the uh, the Shiva Lingam. Because all this energy also coming to me too because I'm working with the Shiva Lingo and it's showing too that connection with the Gay Day energy, the Gay Day Baron Samdi energy and also to some extent, you know, the Papa Legba energy because the Papa Legba energy is like the, you know, the, 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 the Christ slash, you know, Lucifer energy, which again is just that sexual marriage energy, but, uh, you know, it could be used in a, in a, uh, lower more material aspect and, and, and more in a higher aspect you know and, and also be balanced you know within both you know within this realm of reality right now for, for what we're dealing with you know 
like of course like so you know connecting sexually on a physical level but also bringing spirit into it as well so bringing you know again that sexual uh marriage and again the sexual marriage of the you know the feminine masculine energies of the kundalini because that's what the kundalini uh you know for the most part is that blissful you know that bliss in essence is like an or orgasmic bliss you know what i'm saying is the kundalini that marriage between the you know and matter of fact on gods of war I mean, no, gods of Egypt, you know, with, <laughs> of course, I done spoke to that subconscious programming where, you know, they do this shit, never uh, have no melanated people playing parts in these movies, but, you know, it, it's obvious and it is what it is, but, you know, they had a white and a black snake. You know, again, this stories is, you know, uh, allegorical stories of, you know, energy movement or conscious movement, you know, throughout, quote unquote, time or our existence, you know what I'm saying? The existence we created to our, for ourselves to kind of map ourselves out, you know, moving in a more dense vibration in order to be able to see ourselves, you know, just like the concept uh, off of Lucy, where, you know, where she showed that car moving slowly and it's like showing like how you see the car because it's moving slowly, but then it's like when it's moving like fast, you know, and then it got to a point of where you don't even see the car. You know, because it's moving so fast that it's like, you know, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, because it's moving so fast, you know, or vibrating at a, you know, at such a high uh, frequency or high pace compared to where it's moving slower, you know, and you're able to see the car, you know, due to slow movement, you know, and, and us having this experience is almost like, uh, you know, like source saying, hey, I was here, you know, like having the experience, and, you know, and, and, and a learning experience, you know, in, in order to like, you know, see like going within itself to to experience it you know itself and when i say it's a you know like us again you know source on the human experience but and and we're that representation but again just all aspects of you know uh life being that that, that vibration but uh for the most part you know again because it, it is levels to it you know all of our souls are uh you know, some of some of our souls are more so connected to that primordial energy, stronger than than others. You know, but uh, but we all, you know, again, it's all interconnected, nonetheless. You know, again, it's just the different levels to it. It's all interconnected, but it's different levels to it. You know, my body suit is interconnected. You know, everything is interconnected. My eyes, my my brain function, my stomach. You know, because I could look at something that make my stomach turn. You know, so you know, so everything is interconnected, but at, at the same time, having its own uniqueness in a certain you know level of a uh, hierarchy within that you you know that uh, uniqueness, but not taken to an egotistical place of like you know of like I'm better than you or I'm lesser than you, you know what I'm saying? Like not having a superiority complex or a inferiority uh, complex, you know. But uh, again, you know, going into that, you know, that, that wound. And matter of fact, Jack and the Beanstalk. Again, all this got to do with the fractality of, you know, our Taurus field. And matter of fact, in order for certain seeds to grow, you know, it got to have a certain fractality around it. Matter of fact, that's why, you know, uh, again, and we talk about the seed of life, you know, <laughs> speaking of seeds, you know, uh, a certain uh, fractality, oh, sorry, y'all, <laughs> a certain, uh, you know, again, that golden mean, you know, spiraling out in that golden mean ratio. You know, and I, I did a video, uh, I think if you type in universal frequencies live enzymes, I did a video like, you know, like the bus, like reason why overheating food you know, like overheating like vegetables or things of that nature, you know, like you want to heat it just enough to like break the cell walls, but not to like bust the live enzyme. Like, cause again, a live enzyme has a torus field. And if you heat it up too much, then you bust in that torus field. Just like you bust your torus field if somebody heats you up too much, you know what I'm saying? You're going to transition. So as above, so below is like the same aspects throughout, you know, our being, you know, but again, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, you know, climbing up that that ladder. You know, the, the Kundalini energy climbing up. You know, and again within our spine. You know, it's like the middle of our torus field in essence. You know, climbing up within that torus field, and uh, you know, Jack climbed up the beanstalk to get that golden egg. And now I I never went in depth about like a uh, matter of fact. That's where the brethren uh lifting the veil. His his channel. 
he had a video that got into that but the golden egg also though represents the pineal gland as well you know because matter of fact so jack and the beanstalk so no coincidence jack and the beanstalk and then jacob you know from jacob's ladder within the uh the story of the bible you know and jacob climbed up the ladder and then he ended up seeing the face of god and in that place he called it pineal you know like how more obvious could it get than that you know what i'm saying again that ladder also like climbing up a dna strand but also you know climbing up the, the again the kundalini climbing up the spine you know up into that to that that higher uh you know that higher place to that quote unquote godhead you know but again jack and the beanstalk climbing up the spine you know again getting the golden egg you know pineal gland and matter of fact, uh, and then also going back to, you know, the, the Yoni energy, you know, and, and stories correlating. Because again, like all stories and movies and all these things correlate, or, and I say correlate in essence, but, you know, uh, come from mythology, you know. So Little Red Riding Hood, you know, because the hood, you know, uh, I don't know if I could put, because there's already so much going on, I want my cars to fly away. But like with the Empress card, you know, the, go look up a picture of the Virgin Mary, you know, how she wears the hood, but she's a representation of the Yoni, you know, like, uh, you know, like the, the hood. And then she got like a little overhood over that represent, you know, like the, uh, you know, the, the lips on, on the, uh, the Yoni, on the vagina, you know, and uh, Little Red Riding Hood. But also, you know, Little Red Riding Hood was also like a little, a little girl with a red hood, also kind of in essence representing like a little girl having a period for the first time. And, and, and the wolf being like a pedophile in that sense, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, you know, eat little red riding hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, which could also be seen as like, you know, uh, going down on the yoni while, you know, on a cycle in essence. And that's also connected to the, the Lilith energy and also going back to Tiamat. Cause also that's the, uh, the Ishtar energy with fertility in the egg, you know? Now, in fact, speaking of Jack and the Beanstalk with the eggs and Ishtar, Easter, you know, with the Easter egg hunts and, and, and Inanna. Inanna and Ishtar comes from uh, the Sumerian Babylonian energy. And again, it's all stems from Isis, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Isis, you know, matter of fact, because Israel was only created, like the name Israel was created, uh, or that country was created like in 1930 something, something like that. So it's not no real ancient place or whatever, but the name in general though, Isis, Ra, and El, you know, Israel. But, you know, that's all, uh, you know, connected. So again, with the uh, Inanna and Ishtar energy, you know, and again, like the, the sun moving through the elliptical, you know, when we get to December, we experience, uh, right before the 25th, you experience the three darkest days, meaning, you know, we're without sunlight for the longest, meaning the sun died, you know what I'm saying? But on the 25th, it's born for the first time, you know, and, and, and we get into a place of having more sunlight in the day. And then, you know, the things where the new year, the real new year, like in March, like right now, we're dealing with the real new year, things springing into action. Why in the hell would you start things in a dormant stage? Like, we wouldn't start shit in the winter, like, we, we resting in the winter. Like, that's why things hibernate in the winter. You know, like, and that's why they, that's where they try to, that's where they play the game on, on the masses as far as, like, have you put all your little New Year's, like, Happy New Year, like, you put all your shit and all your, your energy into a dead time, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you need to be, like, kind of, like, resting and mapping out how you gonna really go into the springtime and spring into action, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... You don't waste it or kind of like them put that energy in at a time that it really wasn't even beneficial for you to be dealing with it, you know. But, uh, you know, that's a whole nother aspect as well. But again, uh, right now, that, that, that resurrection energy, you know, and back to the Pisces, the Vesica Pisces, the, the Yoni, you know, the, uh, again, the fertility, the, the egg, you know, and again, Ishtar or Easter. And that's also the symbol for Starbucks. And the old Starbucks symbol actually have like the Ishtar sign with the, the fish legs, you know, which is also connected to the Abraxas symbol, which is connected to the Adalabroth and the Lucifer energy as well, you know. And again, not oh, Lucifer or nothing bad, you know, again, it's just a certain aspect of the, uh, of the Godhead, you know, and not, again, no good or evil or this bad or good or none of it, you know what I'm saying? Like we stepping into a higher... Uh, high vibrational uh you know aspect of consciousness and really understanding the fullness of our being you know but 
also uh so little red riding hood but also uh it's so it's so many levels it could go on and on but just some little examples that i uh came across recently you know and again with the story of the odyssey but them going into a certain little cave you know that cave that dark represents the yoni you know what i'm saying i always speak on like the front door of a house you know represents the yoni energy and like the connection with you know again it's just the the speaking on energy where you know the lions at the lion's gate are like the main gargoyles on a porch because that's a symbolic uh symbolic to protecting the yoni protecting the divine feminine energy so that's why most people have lion or sphinx uh gargoyles like the chariot card on uh you know in the tarot like the little sphinx uh you know half lion half man you know uh to protect that divine feminine uh energy but that cave you know it's like again that deep again go check out my video on uh snakes on the plane and i get on to that you know the kundalini and the primordial energy and set and soot typhon and when when the new dynasty come in then uh you know, it was about set, and, and it's also tied into the Ophiuchus video I did recently too with Ophiuchus and Orion too as well. You know, but you and, and too you just start to see how all of it starts to correlate. And, and, and semen, you know, people on the sea, semen, you know, like the semen going through, you know, but the semen going into this cave, and the deeper they go into the beat, the deeper they go into the abyss or into this cave, you know, the more they like awaken this this cracking you know the cracking like a crack like the the crack within you know the split within the yoni you know uh and the cracking also depicted as an octopus you know heard the name octopusy or uh, uh you know octopus having eight legs and the number eight is shaped like you know like a female you know like the curve the divine feminine energy and also like cycling in and out of a tourist field because that's also the infinity sign Ah, <laughs> it's all connected, man. It's all connected, you know. And again, just cycling, you know, in and out of this tour. Because again, uh, in a lot of cases, you know, we be making our spiritual, you know, uh, dealing with this information more difficult, you know, than what it is. And to some extent, because a lot of this is us just, you know, uh, you know, breaking down information so it could be, you know, grasped. But you know, it's it's as simple as just everything pointing to this one. You know, like as much as it's it's like a bunch of different things to say one thing in, in so many words. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, again, just connected to that that TMI, that that divine feminine energy, and also coming across uh, again, bringing to my attention like even the word yawn. Like when you yawn, you're opening your mouth. You know, like as creating a gaping hole, you know, or a, a yawn, or like a yawny, or yoni, you know what I'm saying? Like you yawn, uh, you open your mouth. And even your, uh, you know, the little, uv what do you call it, uvula? A uh, little thing that hang, you know, where you got your tonsils on the side, but the little uvula in the back of your throat, you know, because also as above, so below, you know, the, the whole. This other being is within the certain parts, but like, you know, the, the mouth also, in essence, uh, you know represents like that, that that vaginal energy as well you know it's like the uh the uvula like the clit in essence and uh and and deals with the the essence of uh creating saliva just like you know dealing with the clitoris you know uh creates the uh the vaginal fluid you know what i'm saying like again as above so below and and, and also in males our uh you know all that uh the spinal fluid and, and which goes into the you know the, the the brain area and uh also connected with the semen you know what i'm saying uh, the same you know uh may have the same material in essence but again everything uh all connected you know moses uh having the the, the staff turn into a serpent you know and the, and the serpent you know uh and also moses spit in the red sea you know the red sea you know and again dealing with the lilith energy as well but back to the aspect again generator operator destroyer generator brahman Saras Vati. you know uh the generators of, of of the life in essence as a matter of fact let's see uh tonight but i had this written down somewhere you know uh yeah brahman shakti the creation uh you know energy you know, uh, 
the operator energy that's Lakshmi and Vishnu you know uh, uh, you know the sustenance energy because uh, again when you think about Lakshmi that's about like the abundance and wealth of being in the physical realm you know what I'm saying so that's the operator aspect of God and then you got the Shiva Shakti uh, which is the destruction you know that's Shiva and, Ka and Kali uh, Durgaya uh, or Kali Ma which we're in the Kali Yuga or the Kali uh, cycle right now from the uh, Hindu pantheon uh, you know as far as wording it in you know as the Kali Yuga from the Hindu a uh, aspect or perspective but we are going through a, a different age you know in that age nonetheless uh, some people call it Aquarius age. again you know going through these different ages but you know that's the different aspects and again seeing that trinity you know you got a trinity and you come out with a triangle and you know you got a downward triangle the feminine energy upward triangle masculine that turn into the star david but you know again just see all these different uh things correlating and just how sacred geometry you know again just pointing back that Different little Taurus fields. No breasts. I got a video about that. Uh, Taurus fields, breasts, and booties. You know what I'm saying? Saying it like that is a joking way, but you know, again, just dealing with the weight, you know. Again, you see like the sine wave. I got my finger <laughs> up and down to the sine wave. So, and that's again and that that wave also like represents going up you know the uh you know you got the middle energy of the sushumna but then you got the eye and the pangala you know like a little wave again you know, just vibrational waves of of consciousness you know what i'm saying that uh that come from the no thing you know from nothingness in essence from that no thing in order to you know and coming into the something in order to have experience you know but, you know that god trinity so basically the god trinity is symbolic to again cycling through the Taurus field because you know coming through the you know the uh creative god head and, 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 and you know the head the the ram area you know the head first the first area you know the cerebral, the ram, and then when you look inside your brain, you know, they do have an area that look like, that's why the ram symbol kind of, uh, I mean, the, the Aries symbol kind of look like a, a certain area in the cerebral, and the Aries energies deal with that part of the body, you know, but, and also, like, if you took out, like, if you looked at the, uh, the cerebral area connected to our spinal cord, it would look like a sperm, you know what I'm saying, as above, so below, the, the parts are in the whole, you know, the, like, the, the, the pieces, so it, you know, even though we have a small, like again, we shaped like a sperm in essence, and then we got sperm coming out, you know, out of us, you know, like the, again, the different parts is in the, in, in the, uh, in the hole. And, uh, again, cycling through the top, you know, the creating aspect, you know, again, from the head of that sperm, you know, all that egg, you know, creating, you know, to the body, you know, within the middle of the torus field, which is, you know, within our body operating, and then, you know, going into the destroyer you know going back into the ground back into the earth you know what i'm saying like uh you know, again cycling through through the different energies you know, and the egg of life you know also said to be like the shape of like you know the beginning stages of the embryo Matter of fact, and then here you see the uh, tree of life you know all these different connections and matter of fact with the tree of life you know malcoop missing parents because all the other middle pillars have their parents you know and uh malcoop missing its parents you know which are like will be like in the flower of life right here hope i'm uh showing it good enough but you know like right on the sides but again uh you know again just the open vibe just seeing how you know, this flow of energy coming through. I'm back, back working with Moldavite again. You know. I'm back, uh, blessings. Blessings to the queen. I'm back, that she needs for, uh, you know, delivering, uh, 
living that energy. Because, <laughs> matter of fact, like, again, we're coming back across Moldavite again. It's like on a magnetic vibe for myself. Like, I, you know, I didn't, uh, which I'm going to have to do a video just on that in essence, you know, because I've been seeing the vibe again. But, uh, you know, things magnetically coming to us when it's, you know, Again, of course we take an action of course there's some masculine energy to you know the process you know again it's a balance of divine union again everything points to the divine union of the masculine and feminine aspect you know what i'm saying the light and the dark the hot and the cold you know, the yin and yang the yin and yang symbol in general like where well, each even one you know is like even the dancing with each other you know spiraling in the sexual dance and even snakes kind of uh like when snakes are uh mating they they kind of intertwine with each other almost like the caduceus you know the caduceus staff like matter of fact the caduceus staff what they use and matter of fact when i get that feeling i want a sexual healing the sexual energy you know the kundalini and healing you know Dealing with, matter of fact, that points back to Emotep and Ophiuchus energy, you know, again, the Kundalini energy, you know, so it's just, and, they, and these are all aspects where, you know, no matter how you slice it, everything gonna point to these energies correlating with each other, you know, sex, healing, a divine union between masculine and feminine energies, you know, our Taurus feel, you know, and, you know, it's just <laughs> a bunch of different connections, you know, it, it, it could take a, uh, like our uh, uh, like a video of de like days and days like a, a video that would take like uh like it would be broken down into just so many days like bro yeah it's it's so much but you know but in these little bits and pieces we're able to you know draw these uh you know, these bigger pictures you know and see all these correlations because what I be forgetting too like when I be doing videos I'm saying everything that needs to be said. But because as I continuously talk, I'm being so, matter of fact, back then I spoke of that before, being so in the now with, with speaking on what you're speaking on, that you feel like because you're so far away from what you spoke on earlier, that you just feel an urge to reiterate it again, like, you know, but it's like, well, shit, if you, if you was listening when I was talking earlier, then you got it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and I don't really have to repeat, repeat myself, because I see a lot of times that's where me doing longer videos come from, too is repeat myself due to that aspect, you know. But again, just definitely want to uh you know share that uh again dealing with that Pisces energy. Uh, the Vesica Pisces, the, the Yoni. You know, matter of fact, coming out of the age of Pisces and the and the Pisces uh little fishes also was the representation of uh you know, quote unquote Jesus or the Christ energy, but uh, Jesus from the aspect of, uh, you know, the, again, the, the, the fake historic story, that what they tried to turn, basically, again, the, the story of the, the uh, solar energy, you know, the story of the, uh, the, the, the divine sexual uh, marriage, you know, trying to be personified into a historical figure, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and again, personified to a historical figure, but then throwing off the information so you could be confused about things, you know what I'm saying? Like with, with uh, oh, uh, women come from a man rib, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, you know, like with Adam and Eve's story, you know, it's like, uh, you know, telling these little partial aspects or, or, or misinforming the aspects to, uh, you know, throw off what you, get, you know, you getting the true aspect of what it's really deeply pointing to, you know, on a uh, symbolic, allegorical level. You know. But, you know, that, that's basically it. You know. Going with the vibes. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Let's make sure I covered everything here. And remember, you know, Mercury retrograde 
and it's not a bad thing, you know. Retrograde is a time to reflect, you know. Matter of fact, like whenever we're in a, a state of like that's taking, you know, the terminology taking two steps back to take a big leap forward, you know, that's what a retrograde is. Like literally, you know, when we look at like a planet when it's in retrograde, it seems like it's going backwards or standing in place. You know, when we reach those little parts of our growth, like we're in retrograde, we're reflecting on a certain energy, you know. We're dealing with certain things and the universe is asking us to be reflective of what we're dealing with in order to, you know, taking those two steps back to take a, you know, a big leap forward, you know. So, that's basically it, y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Happy now. Now is a vibrate, of course. You know, uh, not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now, in the middle of the tourist field. <laughs> you know, again, and, uh, go check out my Prime Audio Mother uh, videos. Like, again, Universal Frequencies and Prime Audio Mother Universal Frequencies. The Snakes on the Plane, you know, video. Definitely go check that out. But, yeah, that's basically it, y'all. Peace, peace. I'll let y'all.